All right, I haven't updated this tutorial in a while, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to upload an audiobook to ACX, Audiobook Creation Exchange. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and I love sharing my insights about all things books and publishing with you. Before I get into the details about today's video, don't forget to hit subscribe. You'll be notified each week as I put out new videos about publishing, making a career of being an author and now being a mompreneur. And as many of you know who've been following me, I have been self-publishing since 2015, um, but last year, 2023, I did start the process of getting my latest book that I wrote, traditionally published. So I'm trying to let you know at the beginning of each video, who is this for? A self-publishing author or a traditionally published author? And today I'm talking about self-publishing an audiobook onto ACX or Audiobook Creation Exchange. So you could be traditionally published and if you reserved your audiobook rights, then you could be you could be self-publishing your audiobook or you could be self-publishing your book in all formats including audio. So depending on your situation, this could be for you. I did a tutorial a while ago, and since then, some policy changes have happened with ACX, and they've changed their overall look and interface. So I definitely wanted to make sure I had an updated tutorial for you guys. So before we jump in, I want to make sure you have everything you need to get started. So here is what you need. So you need to have your finished audio files, your opening and closing credits, your retail sample, and your audiobook cover. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to upload an audiobook that you are bringing to the platform. So either you self-narrated, self-produced all the files, or you worked with a narrator off of the platform. So if you are looking to use ACX to find a narrator, pay them through the platform, that is not this tutorial because that's not something I've done in a very, very long time. And when I was doing it, I didn't record everything. Sorry. Um, and it's a totally changed process. So this is you're bringing the files, you've either already compensated your narrator offline, maybe you found them through Fiverr, through some other service, um, through Reedsy, wherever um, you've paid them, you have your finished files, or you already have your files because you narrated them, okay? Are you ready? Let's dive in. Hello, so today I'm gonna be walking you through how to upload your files to ACX to self-publish your audiobook. Um, and again, this is a case where I, as the author, have recorded the files, so I already have them in my possession. Um, this would also work if you worked offline out of the ACX um, ecosystem to find a narrator. Maybe you found one through Reedsy, through um, any narrator's groups. Uh, maybe it was a professional recommendation, but this is somebody you've worked with offline. You've already directly paid them for their services, and now you have the finished files to upload to ACX. Um, so with this, you want to also have your cover file as well as your retail sample. So I think a lot of authors forget um, to make sure they have their retail sample when they are cutting their own audio. Um, if you're working with a professional who has narrated self-published audiobooks before, they know to include the retail sample. If they're a newbie, you may have to remind them. So you also need your up to five minute retail sample. Um, now in this case, I have already claimed my title. I always go in and claim my title as soon as my ebook is available on the Kindle store. I'm double checking on ACX to claim it regardless of my plans at that time to self-publish the audiobook. I don't want anybody else to be able to claim it. Um, that That's a current big loophole uh, for scammers right now on ACX. So I've already claimed my title. I'm gonna show you what you would do, um, but just know that this is an example, okay? So I log into ACX. This is what the new dashboard looks like, which is why I'm redoing this tutorial from a few years ago. Um, so in this case, I could click claim my title. Big yellow button. and it populates right away my books under my pen name, right? Um, so this is one that I already have. Oh, that's right, that was the first edition. I was like, why is this showing? Um, so this is actually, it looks like this series because it's showing Author Your Ambition as the series name and then it's showing the first book in the series. Um, so I could claim that one in theory. Um, book is already available on audio. Can't claim that one already. Oh, already claimed, can't claim it, um, which is really nice to see. So if for whatever reason, Okay, let's say this was my book. This is not my book, um, but if it was, I could click this. Now, if it's not your book, never ever click that. But in this case, I could click that. What I've done for my other books is I have clicked that, claim my title, um, and it immediately asks me for, do you want this to be um, an exclusive deal, a non-exclusive deal? Um, are you gonna be bringing your own files? Do you wanna be paired with a narrator, um, etc.? So whenever I click claim my title, I always say I want a non-exclusive deal and I'll be bringing my own files. Um, and then sometimes it sits there until I have time to record the audio book. Um, or I can work with somebody else for it. So 
What will happen though, it's, if you click all the way through that, is it's gonna take you right into the project. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I'm going to find my in-production projects, which is very helpful to know how to get to because if you start, um, it takes a while to upload, run through the files. Oh no, there's things to edit, there's things to change. You need to know how to get back there. So in this case, I'm going back to my in-production. As you can see, I've claimed other books that I have no intent of uh, doing an audiobook for right now. Um, and they are just sitting there waiting for me nicely. But Interview with a Van Lifer is the short story I'm going to be uploading today. As you can see, the project type is DIY, as in I'm bringing my own files. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and click upload the audiobook. Now, one thing I did do before I started recording for you guys is I did upload my cover file. Um, so I'm gonna click here, edit cover art. Um, what you'll see if there's nothing there is just a big plus sign here that you can click to add cover art. In this case, I've already added it. Um, so I am going to click edit cover art and it takes you to the same exact page. Um, hey, something needs to fit here. Here are the exact specs for the size, for the file format, um, everything that's required there, what it will look like if they had to do any kind of promotional deals, so much percent off, uh, free with Audible subscription, whatever. Um, that little snipe is gonna go here. So it's gonna show you, hey, you don't wanna put anything important in this lower bottom corner. Um, and then you would just click browse to navigate to the actual file you have on your PC or laptop. Um, so you'll be able to do that. I already uploaded it, so I'm good. Okay, so about this title, it's gonna pull in everything from uh, KDP that I already uploaded. Um, so it has my description for the book already in there. It has the genre, original publication date, all those good things. Produce audiobook. Um, now, I have already produced the audiobook. Um, I have done several videos on how to record your own audiobook, best tips for it. So, I'm going to have a link up top where you can find all of those about how to master the files, how to record, all that good stuff. But today is just about uploading. So, I'm going to go ahead and start to browse and navigate to all my files. Now, all of these um, headers populated through from what I provided in KDP for the ebook, from the ebook table of contents. Um, again, it's a short story, so there's really the story and acknowledgements and then closing. Um, but when I've done this for my other audiobooks, every chapter title has pulled through, every you know part one, part two kind of section header pulls through. Um, so then it's up to you to say, okay, I don't actually, I'm not gonna say part one as like a two second audio file. So just delete that. Um, you can reorder these if for whatever reason, move up, move down, move to top, move to bottom, remove completely. Um, that's really easy to do here. Um, replace, so if for some reason this gets kicked back, I can say, okay, replace the file. I have a new file um, to upload. So they make it very easy on each of these for this drop down. Obviously opening credits, you cannot move the placement. It's opening credits. Um, but for the actual body content, replace, download, move up, move down, move to the bottom, remove completely. Um, so very easy to follow. I think they've done a very good job with that. Okay, so it's saying with my retail audio sample, there's an issue. I'm actually kind of glad it showed this so we can go through it together of how to fix that. So audio lab analysis. Now I use audio lab um, every time I'm checking. So I'm do, 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 do. Okay, so this is saying that the volume is too low and we need to increase it. So I still have my audacity pulled up over here. It's saying I need to raise the level of this file by 2.6 de decibytes, decibels. Okay, so this is the file for my retail. I'm going to double click and that's highlighting this full amount. And I'm gonna go up on this top menu here over to effect and amplify. And that's going to amplify the sound. So it says I only need to increase it by 2.6 decibels. So I'm gonna type 2.6. 2.6, okay. And you see those that just got a little bit bigger there. So I'm going to export this once more. Save, yes, I would like to replace that file. And what's really nice is that uh, when Amazon is telling you specifically what to do, um, it will tell you um, in a way that you can easily translate to Audacity. Hey, this is exactly what you're looking for in Audacity. This is what to do in Audacity. Audacity is a free uh, recording and editing software for audio. So I really like that they make it accessible. Okay, so now I can go back to my upload manager. 
So whenever they're gonna say, hey, you need to go over to see your results, that's under audio analysis. I'm gonna go back over to upload manager, which is the page we were just on. Um, and now I am going to click replace my retail sample with the new one that just saved not even two seconds ago. Okay. Okay. All right, and that's it folks. That's all you have to do to upload. Um, so now I'm going to say I'm done. I'm happy with it. Okay, published by, yes, that's my LLC. I understand. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes, I approve. All right, so within up to 10 business days, I should hear back. Okay, folks, and that's how you do it. Um, now, it did take close to that full week for me to get the audiobook approved. I actually got the audiobook approval email on a Sunday night, which was very interesting to me. So I guess there was somebody working on the back end over the weekend just to approve them. Um, so that was exciting, but there were no issues with the file, thank goodness, because um, everything passed the audio lab. Um, and I do want to remind you that, yes, as you saw, Interview with the Van Lifer is uploaded, is available through all the platforms that ACX distributes to, which is Amazon, Audible, and Apple Books. Um, so you can check them out there. And I'm also doing an experiment on my YouTube channel where I have the version that I narrated available for you to watch, as well as an AI narrated version. So you can compare both. Um, I do just ask that if you are going to watch those versions that are for free on YouTube, that you go and leave a review. Actually, even if you buy it off of Amazon or Audible, leave a review. Okay, thanks. All right, what other questions do you have about ACX or other audiobook platforms? Let me know in the questions below. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, or even that shiny new thanks button that tells YouTube you got value from this information and then they can get it in front of other authors like us. Now you can get back to writing your book.